Bismillah, alhamdulillah. It's Monday morning, back to the work week. I think a reasonable consideration, question that folks might have is uh, what are the income generating opportunities? And uh, short answer is we don't know income generating insofar as the homesteading lifestyle goes. I guess there's there's probably a bunch of things, but as it stands right now, uh, my wife and I are very fortunate <clears throat> to be uh, remote workers. And uh, so we're not necessarily thinking about how we can make our lifestyle, our choice to live rurally, we're not really thinking about that in terms of a uh, primary revenue source. So we work, we work remotely, I'm a nurse and she is a, um, a recruiter, uh, she's been working in human resources uh, for a while. And uh, so that's what we do. We handle that remotely and that's our income. And that uh, thankfully is sufficient to pay the bills. I apologize, I keep bumping you guys. One of these days I'll get some lighting in here. I know it gets it's a little bit of a cave. Anyway, that liberates us from thinking uh, too, um, obsessively about monetizing uh, what we've been blessed with. I think that one of the uh, realities of contemporary life, at least here in America, rampant capitalism has conditioned us to think about how everything is a money-making opportunity. And I, I think it's super important to think about ways that uh, we can make ends meet without compromising our values and compromising our integrity and uh, finding ways to be uh, less dependent on systems that aren't designed to serve us in the first place. So I think all of that has value. One of the dangers, of course, is that everything becomes a commodity. My personality is a commodity. My body is a commodity. My home is a commodity. My children are commodities. Uh, it just goes on and on. So all of that to say happy Monday, back to the grind for a lot of us, uh, my wife and I included, once I'm all set here with the morning feed, I'll be logging in and uh, spending most of the day behind a computer and a phone managing my uh, caseload of patients that I'm responsible for. And uh, my wife will be attending her remote meetings and we'll come out here to check on the animals uh, anticipating fair weather, so maybe a really nice opportunity to take AD for a walk a little bit later. So we're able to uh, take AD out for a walk, and uh, this is um, this is a spot I don't know, maybe a quarter of a mile uh, outside our gate. Um, this is land that uh, my neighbor owns and uh, he's told me that for years this area has been kind of a, I don't know, like a hiking slash dog walking spot. You can kind of go all the way up the creek over that way. I've never gone too far because I'm a little bit concerned that it might pass over somebody else's land. Um, and I don't have their permission. I have yet to clarify that. In any event, I do know that this spot is, uh, is cool. 
um, both from a, uh, a legal <laughs> perspective as well as an aesthetic one. So the goats are out. Uh, AD's out here with me. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Sometimes he'll get in the water. There he goes. Yeah, man. Um, so we'll hang out here for a little while. And then, uh, like I said, we're only about a quarter mile up the road. So maybe another 10, 15 minutes, uh, we'll be back at our place. And then uh, I'll tether AD to our deck, get him his dinner, and then we'll, uh, we'll round up the goats a little before sunset. So that's what's happening. We're just goofing off. Hope your day is going amazing so far. And uh, yeah, we'll see you when we bring the goats in. We'll put AD up and we'll go back and figure out what's going on. Here you go, buddy. I'm gonna have to put you on tether. Just until I get these goats situated. There you go. All right, and let's see if they're coming. We'll close this just to kind of discourage him. Right, let's see if we can get the rest of the game. Come on, goats! Let's go! Crack corn here. Yep, here they come, here they come, here they come. Good girl, Floor. Got a little man. Bandit and Rogue bringing up the rear. Come on, let's go. Hey, there's trouble way there in the back. All right, it's a glorious homecoming after all. Come on in, come on in. And uh, I don't like to tease them. I like to give them what they came for. There you go. Hey, 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 hey. Come on. Whoa, 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 hey, getting a little aggressive. That's on me though. Here's what I'll do. I'm gonna come over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna spread this out so y'all get a fair shake. Hold on now, hold on, hold on. Got all this, we got to clear out the way. This stuff, by the way, is compost gold. And normally, I wouldn't throw it on the ground like that because it's a lot harder to collect, but we're gonna give them a chance, all a fair shake, to have themselves some cracked corn. Yep, that's right, get it while it's hot or cold. All right, and I think that's it for our evening. I'm going to take a D off tether here. Sign off, oh, you know what? No, I'm not, hold on. Takes me a minute to learn my lessons. We're gonna put that right there, just like that. And then we're gonna take a D off tether. Yes, sir, yes, sir. I had an excellent time out at the creek with you. Enjoy, and we'll see you guys in the morning.